What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today we're back to talk about Warhammer 40k. In this one I will be going over the newly revealed kill team, its contents, and what that could mean for the future of 40k, because honestly, I was not expecting what I saw here. So, without further ado guys, let's jump into this trailer and then we'll talk about it. So that was a shock, a surprise, and I honestly thought GW would never talk about the Kroot again. So if you don't know, the Kroot are a Xeno species, a Tau Auxiliary for that matter. They are, I wouldn't say primitive, but they're not as technologically advanced as most civilizations in the 40k universe, um, but they're expert hunters and they have a very interesting trait that revolves around consuming flesh and gaining traits and attributes of whatever flesh they consume. Now it's not instantaneous, it does take a while for the Kroot to get certain adaptations. So for example, if there's like an avian species, the Kroot Shaper would say, alright, we gotta eat this meat for certain generations and then we'll be able to gain wings and we'll be able to fly. Now the Shaper is an important piece of the puzzle because this Kroot is basically in charge of the survival of the tribe because obviously you can eat a certain creature and get disadvantage um, in terms of like evolution so you can eat like a frog-like creature and maybe these frogs are really really stupid and so your Kroot devolves instead of gaining favorable traits um, so because of that, the Kroot can come in all shapes, sizes, and honestly can look very, very different. Unfortunately, we only get the standard Kroot um, when it comes to most of the models. Now, we also have Kroot Hounds, which are also Kroot that have used the whole eating thing to become more like canines. And the other Kroot use them as like hunting dogs. There's also the Crew Tox, which is a hulking, stronger Kroot, but not as smart. They use this as a means of just, you know, like heavy uh, weapons platform, <laughs> really just put a huge gun on it and use it as kind of like a tank. In this uh, little trailer that we see here, we get some new sculpts, a new weapon, a, type, a bow type weapon for the Kroot. We also get a Kroot Hound and some various uh, sculpts for the Kroot. Um, pretty cool because honestly when I hear the Kroot I just get sad because they had a really really amazing lineup when it comes to their Forge Road models that unfortunately were discontinued by GW. They were essentially Kroot dinosaurs, the Narlock. Narlocks are essentially like T-Rex Kroot which is really badass. They can use them as a heavy weapons platform, they could use them as a means of transportation, and they can also use them as just a monstrous creature on the battlefield. Because honestly, if you're playing the Crude Army, you have a bunch of troops, you got some fast attack with the dogs, you got a little bit of like elites, I guess you can call it, with the Crutox, and what are they missing? Heavy support, so this would fill that in, and essentially this would be a way to play an all Crute army. Unfortunately, besides 5th edition, there was a Crute mercenary codex. I don't remember if it was official or not, it might have been fan-made, um, but it got to the point where like, there was a fan codex. <laughs> like, If you wanted to play the Crute, they had a bunch of different units and ways to field them, but again, that was almost 5 editions ago. Uh, many many years ago back in fifth edition where the Kroot had a different um, allure to them I guess you can say 
a lot more Tau players use Kroot, because nowadays whenever you hear the Tau, you think of rail guns and battle suits and whatnot. Not so much their auxiliaries like the Vespit and the Kroot. But this brings hope to me because honestly, once I saw that they were discontinuing probably the best units for the crew to the Narlocks, it meant that maybe GW was going to shelve them or just, you know, lock them away in a chamber and never talk about them again. Because um, when you, like I said, like when, when something doesn't sell, it eventually gets put to um, these <laughs> faraway vaults where if they ever do come back it'll be like a one-time thing like oh from the vault purchase these super expensive you know crew from the past for like triple the price and now it's like will they be giving us more crew in the future god i hope so but i think that depends on how well this kill team box set sells because on the other half we have the imperial navy uh, which is a huge surprise for me. I thought it was going to be like just Imperial Guard or the new Kasserkin models or something like that. But no, this is the Imperial Navy, which is interesting because like, as far as I know, these are the only models for the Navy. Like, would you play them in an Astra Militarum list? Or are they specific to just Kill Team? Now I'm not so sure about if they're going to get 40k rules. Um, but again, at least it's something new entirely something completely left field because it could have just played it safe and made like gene stealers versus space marines or something like that but i'm liking it these past couple of kill team boxes have been pretty unique like we had the death core of krieg against the orcs we've had the sisters of battle against the tau now we have the imperial navy against Kroot. Uh, i would have never thought um but hopefully we get some awesome new Kroot stuff in the future if not, I'm at least happy we got these awesome sculpts. Not to forget that there was an awesome sculpt that came out for Blackstone Fortress of an awesome Kroot warrior. So, you know, the little footsteps are there of something that could easily become great. Um, I always say that the auxiliaries should get more support for the Tau. Because honestly, like, when's the last time you saw Vespids? <laughs> um, seeing another unit for the Vespid would be pretty cool. But we'll have to wait and see what GW has up their sleeve. But that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, obviously, you guys love the codex that is the One Mind Syndicate YouTube channel. But we do have supplements. And those come in the form of TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So if you guys want more One Mind Syndicate goodness, go ahead and check those out. Because um, surprisingly, the Facebook page is pretty active. Like, you guys are on there a lot and i talk to you guys a lot so keep it up i enjoy talking to the fans to the community and uh i'll see you guys there if not you know you can just check us out on the youtubes like comment subscribe and if you do want to support us uh you can go that extra mile by pledging to our patreon or giving us uh super thanks here on youtube if not hey watching it liking it commenting that's more than enough Thanks again, guys. This has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.